All right, guys, we are back. The front end is all on. Both fenders are on, the hood's on. Got the uh, welting in there. And it is taking one giant step forward. So that is such a good sight to see. It's really looking like a Volkswagen again. Um, doors still aren't on. Those are gonna be the last things to do. So today, I only got a little bit of time to work on this. Um, so I'm gonna try to do the headlights and the turn signals and get all that stuff on. Maybe the front bumper too, if I have enough time. I think all this stuff is gonna go pretty fast and pretty easy. Um, it's not really a big thing. So I already have all the wiring, you know, right there and all the wiring works and stuff. We've got new headlights, new turn signals anyways. So I'm gonna try to do that today, get the bumper on also. Um, at that point, I might be able to get the uh, wheels back on and then lower this front end down. Um, you know, with the wheels off, I can reach up in here and do all the lights and the wiring and stuff. So I kept those off for now. It's a lot easier to get underneath there with the bolts and everything with the tires and the wheels off. So that is the plan today. Um, you know, it's gonna actually start really looking like a Volkswagen, which I am just very excited about. So um, gonna do that. And then when we do that, I'll finish up the interior. Um, it's already finished, but I got to put the steering wheel back on because I took that out 600 times and now I can put that back in. So once I do that, then I can do the doors and then send this down the road, which sounds like a scary thing because I'm almost done, even though I'm probably not almost done because there's still going to be a lot of stuff to do and finish up and little tweaks here and there. So um, just good progress, just making good progress. So. Um, I will check back in with you guys later and see where we're at. All right, so we got brand new headlights right here. We have the brand new chrome trims and we have brand new turn signals, all that. The turn signals come with the um, wire looms right here, which is gonna be helpful because obviously the old ones have been all dry rotted and broken and stuff. So um, got all that new stuff going in. We're just going with the regular stock headlights. We're not trying to do any LEDs, HIDs, nothing weird like that. This thing is not to be driven at night anyways. So those stock ones are gonna go back in. If you wanna buy any of this stuff, any of the links will be in the description for you guys to buy. Inside the fenders, we have the headlight wiring right here that's gonna go through the bucket. And then we have the turn signal wiring right here that's gonna obviously go up to the turn signal. And there's really not much else to it. It's a pretty simple job. So that's why I'm thinking this is gonna go pretty easy, pretty fast, be able to get this thing looking like a regular car. All right, we are back once again. This is the never ending project of restoring a Volkswagen Beetle. So the headlights, the turn signals are in, they all work. Um, I left the chrome rings off, these chrome rings right here. I left these off because the headlights have to get adjusted that the adjustments are underneath those. So this right here is an adjustment and then this one right here is an adjustment. So. Um, obviously I can't adjust them because this thing is still up in the air. So I left the chrome rings off for now. Once I put this back on the ground, I will then adjust them. I'm just going to use the garage doors right here to adjust them, make sure that they're, you know, close enough. And then I will put the chrome rings back on. Big thing this morning, um, today is going to be the front bumper. Get the horn, the front bumper done. I'll probably get the... Um, handle for the hood on so I know that that lines up pretty good. I will then be able to put it down on the ground and um, do that. And when I'm done with all of that, I will move on to the doors. Those are the last big things I have to do. Um, 
Seems like I'm almost done. I hate to say it. I really do, because I know it's going to be three more weeks, but it looks like I'm almost done. I'm going to try to buff the doors off the car. Um, I might put them on this bench right here. That way it's nice and flat, horizontal. It's easier than sitting down and doing it vertically. Um, as long as the door can sit on that bench, good enough. But I think I might do it that way and then I could just bolt the door on and then put it together. Once it's on the ground, I probably will drive it down, up and down the driveway. We have um, somewhat of a long driveway. I don't know if you guys can see through this window. Um, somewhat of a long driveway to go up and down to see how it's driving. Um, it needs to get a line because I took off the control arms, but I want to make sure that everything feels good. The brakes feel good again. And, um, you know, the steering, all that stuff feels good. So I might do that before I put the doors on, or I might just wait. But I mean, obviously look at this front end. It really looks like a Volkswagen now. Um, it's really going to look complete when I put that bumper on. Once I put the bumper on, I'll cut off the welding. I left that just in case I had to move anything around for now, but uh, I'm going to get going and get the bumper down and, um, you know, step by step, piece by piece, we'll get this thing done pretty soon. Okay, so we hit a snag and I went to go put the rubber bumper seals in. We had a package that came with our kit um, that has all of the rubber in it from J-Bugs. I don't know if you guys can read this. But the kit came with only standard bug, standard beetle um, rubber seals, which are very big. There's four of them. And so these ones are too big to fit in. We have one random small one. We do not have two. Don't even know where this came from, but I cannot put this on. So if you guys are doing a super beetle, make sure you get the correct um, rubber bracket seals because if it's a standard, there's gonna be four long ones. The long ones on the super beetles go in the back. So when I put the rear bumper on, I had no issue. I didn't know that they were any different. I'm not a big Volkswagen guy. So. The front has a short one, so if you're doing a Super Beetle, make sure that you know, um, like I said, the kit, the rubber kit that we got from J-Bugs only comes with the standard bug. So I don't know why that does, why they do that. They actually have a kit that has the, the big ones and the small ones, but does not come in the whole kit when you buy it, the rubber kit. So just telling you guys that, um, so I cannot put that on, which really stinks. But I did move on and I put on the hood latch, the handle. That actually works. Um, I don't really want to go and show you, but it does work. Um, that's on there. So now I'm going to move on to um, getting the front end down. And um, I've got to just make sure everything's um, tight down there, bolted up, and I'm going to put it on the wheels.